The DJI Mavic series has always been a leader in drone technology, and with the release of the DJI Mavic 4 Pro, they've set the bar even higher. With new features, a killer camera setup, and some notable upgrades, the Mavic 4 Pro has created quite the buzz. But as with every release, there's always the good, the bad, and the concerns. Today, we're breaking down everything we know about the Mavic 4 Pro, both the exciting features and the areas that might leave you scratching your head. So, without further delay, let's get into the show. Let's get straight into it. If you've ever used a DJI drone, you know how convenient it is to just unfold and fly. Well, the Mavic 4 Pro is taking that convenience to a whole new level. One of the first things we noticed is the auto power on feature. Gone are the days of double pressing the power button. Now, as soon as you unfold the drone, it powers on automatically, getting you airborne faster. How cool is that? But that's just the beginning. Another huge upgrade is the quieter flight. The Mavic 4 Pro is equipped with low noise propellers that reduce the sound while flying. Not only does this make for a more pleasant flying experience, but it also increases flight time, pushing it to an impressive 50 minutes. And let's not forget the controller. The Mavic 4 Pro will come with the new DJI RC Pro 2 controller, which includes a foldable screen holder. It also supports DJI's upgraded OcuSync 4 transmission system, which means better range and more reliable connectivity. But there's a catch. If you're hoping to use your Mavic 3's battery or controller, you're out of luck. They won't be compatible with the Mavic 4 Pro, so you'll have to invest in the new gear. Now this is where things get really exciting. The Mavic 4 Pro has a camera system that could blow your mind. It's equipped with three sensors, each with unique features that are built for a variety of shooting conditions. The main camera features a 24mm equivalent 4x3 CMOS sensor with dual native ISO, allowing for better low-light performance. It also comes with an electronic ND filter, giving you more control over exposure, especially when flying in bright conditions. And it doesn't stop there. The Mavic 4 Pro also includes a medium telephoto camera with a 50mm equivalent 1x1.3 or 1x1.5-inch sensor. This is designed for shots that need more zoom without compromising image quality. Plus, there's a third camera, a telephoto camera with a 166mm equivalent 1 to 1.5 inch sensor. If you've been looking for a drone that can capture fine details from a distance, the Mavic 4 Pro has you covered. What's the catch? Well, the rumoured 100 megapixel photo mode that had everyone excited is not exactly what it seems. It turns out, it's not just one sensor capturing 100 megapixels. Instead, it's a multi-frame capture technique, which means the drone will stitch together multiple shots to create ultra-detailed images. It's a clever trick, but it might not be quite as straightforward as it initially seemed. Scene Edition is where things get serious. If you're someone who creates high-quality videos, whether for professional projects or just personal passion, this version is built for you. DJI has packed in ProRes 4-22HQ and 44-44XQ support, which are top-tier video formats. These formats retain more details, offer better color grading options, and give you far more flexibility when editing. If you've ever struggled with compression issues or lost quality during post-production, this will be a game-changer. And let's talk about the gimbal, because DJI is stepping it up here too. The Mavic 4 Pro Scene Edition comes with an improved gimbal that now has a plus or minus 90 degree tilt range. What does that mean for us? Well, it means more freedom to capture shots from unique angles without losing stability. Whether you want a smooth cinematic top-down shot or need true portrait mode footage without cropping, this upgrade makes a big difference. It's clear that DJI is targeting filmmakers and content creators with this model. But of course, all these features come at a price. If you're serious about aerial cinematography, this might just be worth the investment. But for casual users, maybe not.
Let's talk about storage, because DJI is making sure you don't have to constantly swap memory cards or transfer files in the middle of a shoot. The Mavic 4 Pro comes with a solid 512 gigabytes of onboard storage. That's already a big jump from what we're used to, and for most users, it's more than enough. You can shoot tons of high-quality footage without worrying about running out of space too quickly. But what if you need more? Well, that's where the Cine Edition really shines. This version comes packed with a massive 2 terabytes of onboard storage. Yes, you read that right. 2 terabytes. That's a huge leap from the previous Mavic models. If you're someone who shoots long high-resolution videos, especially in ProRes formats, this extra space is going to be a lifesaver. You won't have to constantly offload files and you can capture longer sessions without interruptions. Of course, more storage is great, but it also raises a question. Is 2 terabytes necessary for everyone? Probably not. If you're just flying for fun or making short videos, 512 gigabytes is plenty. But for professionals, that extra storage could be a desired addition. DJI has always been known for its excellent obstacle avoidance systems, and the Mavic 4 Pro is no exception. It includes high-resolution fisheye lenses and forward-facing IR LiDAR for improved detection. These upgrades should make the Mavic 4 Pro better at avoiding obstacles, even in tricky environments where GPS might not be reliable. However, one concern we've seen is that while the new system sounds great in theory, it remains to be seen how well it performs in real-world conditions, especially when flying in areas with a lot of obstacles or unpredictable weather. While the Mavic 4 Pro has a lot of exciting features, it's not without its downsides. One of the most talked about concerns is the compatibility issue. As mentioned, the Mavic 3's batteries and remote controllers won't work with the Mavic 4 Pro, which means you'll need to buy everything new. If you already own a Mavic 3 or have invested in its accessories, that's a bit of a letdown. Another issue we've heard about is the price. The Mavic 4 Pro, especially the Cine Edition, is a serious investment. While the camera and video quality are top tier, the cost might be out of reach for hobbyists or those just starting with drones. It's definitely a pro-level machine, and the price tag reflects that. There's also the question of whether all the new features are necessary for most drone users. Do we really need a 100 megapixel photo mode, or is it just a fancy gimmick? And while the low noise propellers are great, they might not be noticeable for casual users. For professional photographers and filmmakers, these upgrades are essential, but for the average drone pilot, they might not make that big of a difference. At the end of the day, the DJI Mavic 4 Pro is a powerful drone packed with some seriously impressive features. The upgraded camera system with multiple sensors gives us more flexibility and better image quality than ever before. The improved obstacle avoidance system adds another layer of safety, making flights smoother and more reliable. Plus, the new controller, auto power on feature and quieter propellers make it easier and more enjoyable to use. DJI has clearly worked hard to refine the experience for both professionals and serious drone enthusiasts. But let's be real, it's not perfect. The lack of compatibility with Mavic 3 batteries and controllers is frustrating, especially for those who already own DJI gear. The price tag is also something to consider, as it's definitely on the higher end. And while the advanced features are exciting, not everyone will need them. If you're a casual user, you might be paying for extras you won't fully use. Still, if top-tier camera quality and cutting-edge drone technology are what you're after, the Mavic 4 Pro is a strong contender. It's all about deciding if the investment is worth it for you. So, that's all about the DJI Mavic 4 Pro. What do you think about the Mavic 4 Pro? Are the new features enough to convince you to upgrade, or do the downsides make you hesitant? Let us know in the comments below. As for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.